We're headed to Black Mesa State Park in the panhandle of Oklahoma. Y'all hop in, come go with us. When you just saw me checking the, the height of my ride right there, some of these previous videos you can go back to and look at where I'm putting this camper on this new truck. We had a squat issue, so in another video I actually put on the airbags. And so this is our actually first time getting the camper out with the airbags in this new truck. So we had to adjust our air pressure a little bit to make sure our ride was gonna be good. And right now we're an hour into our drive and it seems like everything's great. Well, we made it. it. Took about 45 minutes longer than what we thought, but we're here. We're at the Black Mesa State Park. We're set up in site number 17. We have electricity and water. This is our first time getting the camper out, so I'm kind of worried about some leaks, but it looks like everything's gonna be okay. Truck did great. You know, after we pumped them back up to probably right around 70 PSI, it rode a lot better and uh seemed like that's where we're going to keep it at from now on but other than that check this out pretty nice little setup i really like how the blacks on the black on the truck but my goodness what a drive Oh, you're wondering about those bikes right there? Yeah, it's kind of a funny story. I'll tell you about those a little bit later. I think we're gonna finish unloading and we're gonna do a nice little bike ride down at the lake and I'll bring you along just so you can check it out. But yeah, this place is pretty. There's nobody here yet. From what I understand from the Rangers that a lot of people canceled this weekend. We have a slight chance of rain tonight. A lot of people come here because it's registered as one of the darkest places in the United States. And they come to do the stargazing, but it looks like we're gonna have cloud cover. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out on my nighttime laps, star laps, or whatever the heck they call it. I'm just gonna try to do that this weekend and see what it looks like, but I don't know. Other than that, we're gonna finish up and get on the bikes. This is their swim beach area and their swimming hole. They say that right there is spring fed and stays around 67 degrees year round. And it's nice down in here, I sure like this. Oh, what's that? You were wondering about this swag? That's sweet right there. 
Yeah, my daughter made these shirts for me and her, and so I'm gonna wear them every chance I get. Man, I tell you what, this park is sweet. Talk about secluded. <clears throat> I highly recommend this park, and we just met the ranger, Polly, sweetest lady, been here six years. I tell you what, if you ever come here, you ought to look her up. Nice lady, got a lot of information for you. Other than that, we're gonna get back on the box, keep checking this place out. course we're in tornado warning. We're in Oklahoma. Uh, too soon, I know. Yeah, it looks angry. You know, Sam's has got these already pre-made up kind of taco things that you can get. And we found it a lot easier just to get that taco kit that they have. And instead of buying all the stuff for it, it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot easier just to heat up and make you some tacos. So that's dinner tonight. Still raining. Don't know how much longer it's gonna last. We were trying to really hope to get the stars, but it don't look like it's gonna happen tonight. So maybe tomorrow night, we'll see. supposed to have all the comforts of home when we're camping but that sucker right there that's a necessity all right we made it through the storm it was a little bumpy not too awful bad could have been worse i guess but that's okay we had a lot more people come in during the storm they scrambled around tried to get everything buttoned up before it hit too hard all in all it's still pretty vacant let's see it one two three four I guess there's five of us here, six. That's still not too bad. morning it's saturday a little chilly out here this morning about 54 degrees i really don't know we don't have service and my phone hasn't been updated since yesterday afternoon around 1 30. But i can feel it it's pretty chilly so last night at one o'clock in the morning we had another storm come through this time it was a lot bigger than the one that came through yesterday afternoon had bigger hell stronger winds and I can tell you right now, that one was a little bit more scary. That one almost made me want to get in the truck. I mean, look at that. There's no way you're going to survive even at EF1. It's going to pull that top off, and you're going to be sucked right out in it. I mean, yeah, I think you stand a better chance of actually being in the truck with all your side curtain airbags and, and all that good stuff. But nevertheless, made it through again, and we're ready for the day. On a more lighter note, 
you ever noticed that as you get older, you develop these pet peeves, you might say. It's those, it's those little things that really irritate the total crap out of you and that you really didn't matter when you were younger. It's those things that almost make you go insane that someone else does that you completely cannot overlook. So, saying all that, I've been married for 34 years this August to the same woman. And back when we were younger, I don't guess you really notice your pet peeves as much until you live with somebody as long as you have. And she completely hates the fact that I slurp my coffee. <laughs> Just something little as that. I mean, I hates it so bad that she can't even watch the YouTube videos if I'm drinking coffee. So, here's to you, babe. <laughs> That's funny, I don't care who you are. No, seriously, it's probably doing that more on purpose than I actually do. I don't know. Oh, it's good coffee this morning. Oh, it's beautiful out here. This is such an unknown park, and it's so far away and so remote from anything that you've ever seen. This is a place to get away, and last night it was so dark, and during the storm you couldn't see anything. Even when the lightning hit, it was still just dark as ace of spades. And uh, it's supposed to be clearing up on skies tonight, and I'm really hoping to get some some nighttime laps to uh, check out these stars that they've been bragging about. Appreciate you having coffee with me this morning. I think I'm gonna finish this cup. I'm gonna get the bikes untarped and get everything ready for a fun-filled day. We're gonna head up and look at some dinosaur tracks here in a little bit. I mean, real life dinosaur tracks. We're gonna go check out the trail that's, that goes to the, the highest point in Oklahoma. And I still think that's about 2,000 feet lower than the elevation that I live in, but it's the fact of the matter. I don't think we're gonna hike it today because it's an eight mile round trip. And we're here with her brother and her sister-in-law and I think we wanna spend more time with them than we do wanna do out hiking around. I don't know, several things to do here. We're just gonna check it out and see and I'll bring you along for the ride. So I'll see you here in a little bit. We're up here real close to the Black Mesa Highest Point Trailhead. We've got some dinosaur tracks down in here. Even though it rained last night, it's still dry crap down here you can still kick dust come on let's go see if we can find them You know, it looks like mud, but it's actually rock. I don't know. I'm skeptical. You know, you can believe it or not. It's really up to you, but that was kind of cool to see them, but I don't know. It could have just been a cow walking through there 10,000 years ago, who knows? But it's kind of cool. So I highly recommend at least coming looking at it and walking in the same tracks that, that those amazing creatures did thousands of years ago. Pretty cool though. I just found this real nice little fishing hole. That looked pretty good. We're just out here driving around. We found this where they have the Easter play at. What amazes me, there's nothing fenced off. There's nobody around anywhere. You can just go walk and wander around wherever you want to go. I'm heading up there. I'm gonna go see what's up there. That's sparkly.
All right, you wanna see something very anticlimactic? So out here in the middle of nowhere, they have a replica of a dinosaur's femur bone. So here you go. Yeah, we just drove 15 minutes out of the way to come see that. I guess it's something. So from the dinosaur tracks, we were only about four miles to my next location I had marked I wanted to see. It's not very big, but check this out. I guess that's pretty cool. Try to mark all these little places like this, kind of out of the way, off the beaten path, where a lot of people ain't gonna be at. Well, this is one of them. This is what this is what's around here. I don't know why I was thinking gift shop and hallelujahs and balloon rides and all that, I guess, but anyway. Still get the market off the list. Wow, that's pretty cool. Petrified tree, that's amazing. That's pretty impressive to be honest with you. Hey, babe. Ah, so we found some more dinosaur footprints. Here, let me show you real quick. Yeah, they're saying that's that's the footprints. I don't know, there may be some more around here somewhere. I wonder how they figured that out. I don't know. We're up here on top of the mesa overlooking the lake, and it's one of the dark sites here on top of this black mesa. There's like five of them all together. I know last night it was very, very dark. Of course, that's with the storms, but couldn't hardly see your hand in front of your face. It's supposed to be clear tonight, so we're gonna try to see how that's gonna turn out. Whew, bike riding these hills ain't no joke. Anyway, we're gonna continue on. You know, one of the cool things about this place so far is there's not a lot of ropes and chains and barricades anywhere around and you can go pretty much anywhere you want. And the biggest thing is, is all that can be runt in just a matter of no time if we trash things out and we don't pick up after ourselves. That's why I'm such an advocate about leaving it better than you found it because places like this just don't hardly exist anymore. And it's just so cool to 
not be constrained, you know, with, with cables and pipes and do not do this and do not do that, all because people can't mind their manners and clean up after themselves. But this is what I needed. I needed to do some scrambling. This is pretty cool. Uh, so I want to show you, oh, first off, number one, man, them steaks were good. God dang, they were good. I want to show you my setup for my nighttime lapse thing. It'll be my first time to do anything like that, but I don't know. It looks pretty cloudy. Let's we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to post it no matter what. That way y'all can uh, tell me if it's good, bad, or indifferent. He's running through the camp. <laughs> Got two big old toms and four hens right out here and they're kind of fighting for attention. Well, good Sunday morning. Thanks for having coffee with me. I promise no slurping this morning. I don't know how that time lapse is going to turn out. Looks like it stayed cloudy all night long. So just my luck, we come to one of the darkest places in America and it stays cloudy all weekend and rainy. But I think I like this so much that I'm going to be back. It's only five hours from where we live and not really a lot to do here once you do it. As you can see through all this video, there's quite a bit to go check out, but uh, that's a day. But I think that Coming here forces you to relax. I think it's gonna be better in the summertime, but not dead middle of summer. And I bet here it's well over 100 degrees. Bathrooms are actually flushable toilets. They have showers, hot water. I mean, this, this is a nice place. I definitely, definitely would check it out. It's one of the hidden gems here in, in Oklahoma, especially way up here in a panhandle like this. Talking with Polly, the, the park ranger, they're wanting to get more people in so they can actually get a little bit better funding to kind of redo a lot of this place, especially down there at the group campsites. It's in a dismal need of repair and they sure need the funding and the help to, to get it done. And I can see probably just one person spending a full-time job down in that area. I mean, it's, it's a nice area. I would probably rate this probably a 9.8 out of 10 as far as campgrounds. This is a great place. As soon as they get some water, get that lake back up, then I'm sure it's gonna be some great fishing too. Oh, I was gonna tell you about the new bikes. So these bikes right here, those are the ones we bought first and in the previous videos you can see us using them. When we bought those fold up bikes, we didn't know if we were gonna like electric bikes or not. Once we started using them, we fell in love with them. They were the cheaper ones, the fold up 500 watt. They worked 
for their purpose what we did all last summer and got us really far back into the hiking trails that we like. Gave us something extra to do when we're out camping and having a good time and especially right around the apartment and around the city, easy to get around with. After our last camping trip last year, we went ahead and brought them back to the apartment and we locked them up on their little bike locking rack area thing. And then a week later they were stolen. Someone to come in and cut the locks and stole just our two bikes. Funny thing is they didn't even have the batteries in them, so kind of worthless. I mean, I guess they're just regular bikes, but they're a little bit harder to pedal if you don't have electricity. So I thought, no big deal, I'll just claim it on my renter's insurance. Well, renter's insurance does not cover anything that has any type of propulsion system in it. You have to get its own policy for that. If it was just a regular bike without an electric motor, they would cover it. So I tried to plead my case and tell them that it didn't have a battery in it, so it didn't. It was worthless and it didn't happen. Anyhow, we liked them so much that we decided to go ahead and get these bikes. They got the bigger tires, they have the 700 watt now, and it seems like these are gonna be a little bit better than the other ones and do more than what we wanna do since we did a lot of off-roading and dirt roads and things like that. These fatter tires are gonna be a little bit more stable. I think we're gonna like these a lot better. So there you have it. That's the story of the bikes. Other than that, I think I'm gonna enjoy this morning. I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee and I think we're gonna start slowly packing up. The weird thing about this campground is, is the checkout's not till two o'clock, but check-in's not till five. But if there's nobody in your spot, they don't mind early check-in. So we got till two o'clock, but that five hour drive, I'm not gonna get home by seven, eight o'clock tonight. So we're gonna get out of here in the next couple, three hours. Appreciate you hanging around on this maiden voyage of the uh, Nissan Palomino combo in our first camping trip of 2024. Yeah, it's gonna be something else. Got a lot planned this year, I can tell you. I appreciate you hanging around. I always remember, leave it better than you found it. So until then, I'll see you down the road. Goodbye.